in the industry, it's it's as big as it seems, it's still a very small industry, right? There's mm -hmm. everybody knows everybody in the industry. The PR person here worked for this company seven years ago and they know everybody over there and blah, 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 right? Um, and uh, people are so quick to throw out these terms, you know, racist, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. And um, do you think the idea that they don't want to work with you because they don't want to be attached to that, even though if, what whether it's true or not? Yeah. You know, first of all, don't tell my my black fiance that I'm. Racist. I know, I know. I know. Um, but it's, uh, it's like we've been called we've been called homophobic. Our you know my producer's gay, right? Like, and the people who like the people who who uh, who say these things, it's like when was the last time they had a, a black person or a Hispanic person or a gay person on their show? No, it's just like white dudes and white girls who are complaining about things, you know. So, well, uh, I'll amazing. say this: like I, I said once, Danny O'Dwyer, who I truly think is one of the stupidest people in the games industry, once. Uh, on Twitter, we had an argument where I was saying, do you think that the person, do you think diversity would be the black person that grew up next to me on Long Island or the white person from Ireland coming and living in America? And he was like, and, and in other words to say, like, you are the outsider compared to the white and black person that lived in the United States that it's not, you know, skin deep or whatever. And he had a complete meltdown about those, those very things. It's, um, it's, it's hysterical to me that these people are so rigid and yet also so backwards. A lot of the things they believe are misogynist. A lot of the things they believe are racist. A lot of the things that it's like, it's insanity. And um, so th you said it, there's a small community of people in the industry. Their power is waning, right? Like they hold, I just, I won't even say any names in the PR people. I don't want to bring them heat, but Right. It's like they hold their their access codes over you like it matters, right. you know? Or they they'll they, they're like I don't want access to your fucking games. I don't care. You have no power over me. And when your audience affords that and understands why you're circumventing that, I think that it becomes less relevant what your politics are and more relevant what your intent is, which is to just make great content for your audience and it makes them look stupid, it makes them look political. Um and so I I just to me I I look at it and I think who cares? Like why why is this even coming up why does it matter what i believe if we're talking about video games and podcasting and doing all these things i think a lot of it comes from a fact the fact that a lot of these people don't really like video games don't want to be in the video game industry and are trying to create for themselves a political brand of journalism that they actually are chasing and this is kind of where they're stuck what are your uh man this is brought up in the chat <laughs> and i just want to yeah this is i was like oh shit yeah you know we talk about people in the industry who have just been broken right and uh adam sessler is one who who is brought up that, oh you have issues with him I, I yeah he, he hates it. adam sessler hates me um which is funny because the last time i saw adam sessler it was at an event for a deep silver for Homefront: the revolution so this was probably in 2015 or 2016 gave me a big hug had all sorts of nice things to say to me, but the set the second everything go actually he came into my session to say hello to me. I remember that so well. And uh but that's, after everything that's went the down, most amazing thing. I'm sorry to cut that's the most yeah. amazing thing about it is that these like so many people, so many people. Um, the last time I spoke to them, they're like, Hey, it's great to see you. Hugs all around, you know, but you know, whatever. Let's go to dinner, let's hang out. We do that, and then the next time I hear from the guys, up, you know, he's he's a fascist <laughs> he's 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 a he's a white supremacist racist and it's like what you just gave me a hug two years ago like what 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 has changed between now and then and uh it, my, it just, it's just it's amazing my favorite arc with adam sessler is that he pretended that he made fuck you money on this small investment that he had with this company that could sold the reddit and i'm like you can continue to believe that 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 fiction as much as you want adam like you would love to still be taken seriously in games. It's just that you're not. And that again is your own fault. He melted down completely. Um, oh, and yeah, I don't know. It's sad to see like social media. This is why I stopped posting except for promotionally on social media, because mm -hmm. I look back sometimes. I mean, this is one of the many reasons is that kind of sound fucking crazy sometimes. Like everyone does, you know, it's better to just not share these thoughts at all and so i just i just don't i just let i just live the schadenfreude life and just let everyone else have their problems but i don't understand why he would want to so voluntarily crater his life or his career is not his life his career to the point where he just pretends that he doesn't like games never liked them was taking advantage of people and right. putting on a show and all of that and i'm like i don't think so adam but i don't know why you are pretending that that is the case like you're above it all now <laughs> um and 
really kind of getting hook, line, and sinker into like the whole gamers are bad, and I don't know. He he's a he's a chucklehead. That guy's weird, man. <laughs> I never never uh, never heard anybody described as a chucklehead, but I love 